decision. Uh, today, I just want to, to do the uh, back testing with me, back testing with Gate. So this is what I wanna do. We're gonna do it in gold. It's just gonna be the movement from Monday uh, up until now. What was happening in the in the market? What I saw, and also I'm going to apply something. The one I learned from Mark Douglas is um, take the trade when you see the signal. Don't have, you don't have to ask yourself a question: Is this trade going to play out or not? And the only thing that is going to allow me to take all those threads is if I accept the outcome, I know I have two possibilities in the market. One is market has to go to my TP, and the second one is market has to go to my SL. So uh, like what Mark Douglas said, there is people, even if they put a stop loss, it is not like they accept the outcome of market maybe can go and hit their stop loss. So, and from here, after I'm done with the whole backtesting stuff, this is when I'm gonna tell you which thread I took and which one I missed and why I missed that thread. So I'm trying by all means on my side, the way I'm working behind the scene is to try and catch all the movement, more special on gold because I trade gold more and uh, and uh, Nasdaq also, I trade gold and Nasdaq like on daily basis because I don't want to miss an entry. Since I'm trading only those two, I need to make sure I catch the movement like every single day. And from there also, there is the time that I'm going to show in the chat, the one that I look, how market is playing during those time, how can I be able to get the entry. You see, I also pick up one time frame, uh, sorry, one time session the one that is playing a lot in the trade, like most special in gold. I'm going to show you guys again this side. And uh, another thing is just that people, they're asking themselves why they are failing, why they cannot make it big in trading. How do you expect to make it big in trading? You, the same person, let's say the same person is learning from gate. The same person is learning again from another mentorship is another mentorship so if you go maybe to three mentorships you find the pe the same person is on all of all of them me i can come and i explain my way of looking at the chat the way i look at the chat another person also can just come and give you his way of looking at the chat how the confirmation that he has what you need to wait for and uh, every person got his own uh, pattern the one that is looking in the thread the one that they are playing so uh try to get just one mentor when you get to one mentor learn from him one day it's just gonna make sense it's just gonna make sense don't be like some of us we made a lot of mistake on the beginning of trading because we wanted to know more about the market it's not because you need to know more in the market that you are going to make money no market is different from how we understand it it's different everything is on our mindset so if your mindset is okay, even a trend line is just going to give you money. Even just moving, moving average cross, they're going to give you money. The more knowledge you have, the problem that you're going to create yourself and you won't even be able to, to start trading. You can have all the signal, then before you place a trade, you start scaring. Ah, no, I'm not going to take a trade. Maybe market is going to hit my stop loss. You see all those kind of stuff. So there is things that you need to work on. If you are a type of guy who's facing this challenge, my advice to you is going to be stay away from the chat. Stay away from the chat for a period, maybe let's say a week, two weeks. So just learn about psychology. Put something in your mindset. Market, you find it. It always be there. You're not going to miss anything. So without uh, taking more time on talking, what I recommend from you guys is just to watch this video up until to the end. Because when you watch this video up until to the end, you're going to be able to, uh, to get the sense and how many trades you can get, what you have to look at, all those kind of stuff. So the movement I want to try to backtest is going to be, uh, let's say, from this reversal up until this area. Because due to the time, maybe it's going to take 30 minutes. So if I'm tired, then we stop. But uh, if I'm still strong, can go maybe up until one hour. So this is what i want to do uh what i have to do now is just to cut the chart and uh yeah because we can cut from here 
and give you the reason of why markets come to start uh, to start uh, selling from this area. So the first thing that you need to understand, uh, we had this uh, this decision point. I think in one of my video, I did explain about this area, why we supposed to look for market to sell from here. And if you check, this uh, drop, base drop, was acting as a liquidity for them to, to do what? Uh, to sell from here, because this one become an FTR. So this one become an FTR, because this is the area that tried to return back to this zone, then market did what? It fell to go back to the to the base ignore you see this base is the one sometimes people they call it sde whatever they call it so this was liquidity it acts as liquidity the one people they call inducement so i'm just gonna write lq now so what we need to understand again is that do you see this rejection here is the one that i normally call footprint this stuff i learned it from uh, zero to empire this is why i learn about this uh, footprint so you can see this rejection already it's something that is showing us that there is more orders and more sell pressure that happen in this one you see because we have this hidden base market did come back and fill the hidden base then drop but what about the one here on top why the market did not fill that zone you see then what you need to do like what me most of the time i always do i'll, I'll take this week up until the top now i'm gonna focus so from the 50 percent up until uh up until the 100 percent so this is this is gonna be my zone that i'm gonna look for me to be able to catch the movement and this is what i have to do when i have let's say this is my micro zone remember i trade let's say if i get h4 h4 micro zone then i have to go to m15 micro zone so it's gonna be m15 uh m15 and m5 for me to be able to do it okay this is gonna be uh m15 also i'm gonna look for supplier or demand for me to be able to catch the movement then m5 and m3 they're gonna be for change of character uh change uh, oh, let me just write in short so change of character what I mean by change of character is BMS, break in a market structure. So this is what I'm going to look uh, inside those. This is the most time frame that I use most of the time. And also, because this one I start with uh, H4, then if I go, this, the same apply, if I do, let's say, uh, if I do, let's say, daily, daily I won't even look at H4, daily macro, M50, uh, H1 micro and m15 m15 i'll look the same story i'll look for supply and demand m m5 and m3 for my entry this is how i do my stuff i'm just trying to make it as simple as possible as i can because i do understand if i don't make it simple for me i'm just gonna come in front of the computer and having all the knowledge i have in my mindset then i start confuse myself also, I need to know when I'm taking my entry, what is going to be my target? Where am I going to exit? When I'm taking, let's say, a sell position, where am I going to exit? If I'm taking the buy position, where is the draw in liquidity? Where is market is going to target? All those kind of stuff. So I have to look for them. Uh, if you check here, these things was, uh, was just so simple. If you check here, there was an area uh, here, I think on daily time frame, there is uh, an area here on daily time frame let me just put daily that is the block you see that is the block they use we had liquid market come and run that liquidity on the fmc day then market uh, continue to the upside since we are doing the h4 stuff then uh, as you can check market come and break all this area Market come and break all this area to go and mitigate that zone at the same time, you see this candlestick. This candlestick was being used to take out all this liquidity. So this candlestick, it become an important candlestick to us. Let's say if we're taking a sell position, where we're going to get our sell position, then where, where do we going to exit? 
So here, what I saw again, because this is the way market took liquidity, then I'm going to monitor what was happening inside this zone also. Do you see? Here also, market supposed to do what? When market was going to the upside, market supposed to get from that area, let's say do something like this. We buy, get there, then we sell. So here there was a manipulation, and here also there was another manipulation that happened because they manipulated this uh, uh, supplier zone. This supplier zone create this one, take out liquidity, then market supposed to do what? To come and sell from there. Because we break structure, just in a normal simple way, we break structure because this is the one that make this area to fail and it grab liquidity, the one that was resting here. So this one was still so strong for us to be able to catch the movement so that we can come to the downside. But market get here, fail and go to the upside. What do you do now? How do you take our entry? This is where the question starts. And when we are taking the entry from here, where do we go with our entry? So we need to understand, okay, I've got my, let me just put something like this. I got my H4 micro zone. See H4 micro zone. Guys, this is what I would normally do every single day before I take my trade. So this is uh, H4 micro zone. Then when I get this one, so what I have to do is to see now on M5, eh, eh, sorry, M15, because I need to try and identify the zone. What is happening there? If market can create liquidity, if market can create, it, oh, let me just first explain something here. So if you check here, what you can see, this block is aligned with our Iden base. So this Iden base can also be something uh, proper that we have to look at. Remember the way we select the Iden base, we select from the top this week to the done week and this zone become our zone from where we have to look for what for entry again and then i go back to m15 on m15 the only thing that now i'm gonna do is for me to wait it either if i wanna risk remember if we want to risk let's say we wanna risk from here because this is a 50 percent and our stop loss is going to be so huge because uh on gold normally i look I look at uh, let's say uh, 15 15 to 30 pips like if I'm not sure about the zone that is how I'm gonna use 15 pips but sometimes I use 10 10 pips to stop loss but people that are trading gold they know you can even trade uh, 30 pips let's say in this case we want to trade like this and this is our stop loss we know already where is it is going to be our target so I'm going to show you guys how I do take my trade. This one is going to be what we call a risk entry because we are not sure if market is going to hold from the level there we want to take the entry. Then what I'm going to do, I'll see how market is playing. You see, like people, people that they rush let's say from the open of that week of the footprint, the one that we get on H4, they could get the entry. Why I'm trying to avoid to get this one at least if market can get to 50 percent then i'll be happy to do it to take my entry from there then uh, let's see okay so as you can check market is already activate our orders so market already activate our order then there is one thing that we need to we need to pay attention to from here is like if in terms of marking structure let's say if we mark all this area uh, even here, which we because uh, I don't like this structure, the one they are playing outside. But from here, what I'm gonna do, so I need to see if I wanna get a proper confirmation of saying market is gonna do it, market is going to to sell. I have to see if market can take out this low. When market take out this low, then I'm gonna look for a sell position when market retrace. And also, this zone here, I'm going to monitor this area here why this area here when you are trading let's say uh, a continuation you have something like this market create a high then market create a low this area is a supplier zone but when market get at the supplier zone and create something like this then next minute market push 
What do you wait for? You are waiting for market to return back to this zone and continue. This is the one we call SR flip or SNR1, SNR2, whatever they call it, or breaker, so that we can be able to do it to catch your entry from here. But what happens if market just decide to go like this? I did explain to you guys. Market decide to go like this. So this area here, it become your, your what? Break of structure. Then what you're going to wait for is for market to return back. Let's say maybe to give you a liquidity, then respect this level and that zone become a QML level. Or if there is any base that has been ignored there, then you're going to take your entry from there. So this is what you are going to monitor also about this area because we're taking the entry from here and we want to see what is going to happen here if we're going to get a buy continuation and we need to wait for at least for a confirmation because this is the first trade that I'm taking and I want to see how this trade is going to do what is going to uh, to play out. I want to see how this trade is going to play out and uh, let's see what is going to happen. Boom. Do you see? Next minute, market just come and take out my level. Manipulate the level that I was monitoring to do what? To take the, the buy continuation. And at the same time, they break the law. So what I need to do right now is... Okay, this is the area where markets manipulated the zone. So I can say, uh, let's say if you go to low time frame, let me check on M5, what is happening there? Okay, on M5, we have this zone and we have this one, but I'll be happy to see if he's gonna get and trade inside this area. So to avoid maybe, let's say sometimes missing the entry, uh, what I'm gonna do, let me just do something like this. Because I don't have to ask myself so many questions. When I have a signal, I told you guys, when I have a signal, I just have to take the trade without asking myself so many questions. This is what I'm doing on this trade. Because this is what Mark Douglas told me when I was learning about the supply and demand. Eh, sorry, uh, the psychology is when you have a signal, you just have to take your trade without asking yourself so many questions. Okay, this is going to be all our target for all the trade that we're going to take. And at the same time, we need to check what is the timing then when we are taking the trade. What is the timing? Because this one was half past eight. You see, you know, I normally take my trade half past eight. Then to understand also how you could be able to catch the movement. So there is things that I need to, to work on. I need to see face the Asian range. What is my Asian range? I want to see how market manipulates my Asian range. The 16 week uh, was somewhere here. So more special, let's say, on the Monday Asian range, I don't like looking more on it because that things on Monday, it always have, you know, those huge liquidity. You see like this one. It's even more than 30 pips, like the normal one Michael said, the one you have to look. Then, okay, so we are good. This one was uh, 17th. Uh, then this is what happened. Market pushed to the upside, returned back, and goes to the upside. So when market gets here, what I need to do, I'm waiting for market, if market can trade in, in my zone here, but at the same time, we have this one. You see, this one also. But according to me, on the safest place that I can be able to catch the movement, I want to see if market can trade there. That is what I want. You see, so my first entry is already in. This is the first entry, it's in. And there is people that they rush because they see this block. They say, okay, I'm taking my entry. When it goes down already, they update their stop loss. The market come and take them out. So me, what I did, I just decided to do what? To take my entry from there. And if you check, this is New York. We have, so this is, uh, how they call it? NYC, something like that. The half past nine. This is the, the one of half past nine. We could be able to catch the movement. And there is people that they take and take this risk entry. And this is the confirmation entry because we break structure and we come back for us to continue to the downside with it. So let's see what is happening. And remember what I told you guys, this is the open, but I was waiting for market if it can trade inside this candlestick. Why? What is the reason? The reason is because that area was aligned with this QML. We have the high, low, higher high, lower low, then market return back. So I can go back to my M15. I can go back to my M15 again from there. 
then uh, I have to see. So because this, all these two entry, they are in. Remember, the first entry, I need to close my partial when I get to 50% of the movement. So this is what end up happening. Then we need to see the next day, what is happening on the next day. Uh, okay, this is 12, not yet. Because after this, I don't trade. Eh? I don't trade anymore. Then what I'm gonna do, then I'll start looking of how I need to come and get the entry for the next day. So if you check here, uh, check the way they come and trades this area because already this one me, I, I don't take this trade. I'm happy with this one and the other one I'm happy with it. But this area, also gonna show you guys how to take the entry. Remember, this is where the manipulation happen, where they manipulate this law. They break and they trade to the upside. So it's something like this. Even Nora did teach these things. Let's say you have market that just come and it break your zone. We break this law. Then market trade again to the upside. It's supposed to respect this law, but could not respect the law. But it seek for the order on top and goes to the, uh, the downside. So next time when market is coming up, you're going to take a trade align with this zone. So what you need to understand is just that, okay, this law here was being manipulated. Do you see? The law here was being manipulated from here. Then this is the one Nora called SNRC2. SNRC2. So it's, uh, if you don't know about Nora, just go check for her on YouTube. You're going to find all this stuff. But the only thing that now give me more, more uh, stuff that I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to look. You see all this law here. This law, they give me attention. Okay, what is happening? And by the way, also, I'm not only going to continue looking only for the, for the sell position. Yes, I need to go align with what market is showing me. Sometimes going on the opposite side, it's wrong because market is going to come and hit you. Okay, we have this law here. It is in the Asian range. I look also to see how I can take the entry from here. But if this one is going to be liquidity, remember I'm trading when my mindset telling me take this trade, I take the trade. If my mindset telling me not to take the trade, I'm not going to take the trade. At the same time, I have also this zone here. I can also look at this zone if I can get, let's say, a buy retracement. So this is how I'm going to monitor. And when I'm trading this, remember, I'm scalping. I'm trying to go. I'm, I'm trying to oppose the market, what the market is doing. This is what I'm trying to do. So those are the risk uh, trades. If you, are, you know when to take them and how to exit, uh, then you can know. But I have my full target of where I want market to go. So all this is my zone, and this is what I'm going to do. At. I'm going to look for me to be able to, uh, to catch the movement. And what do you see about this law? You see about this law here. Because I have this strong law. You see this strong law. If you go to line chart, you're going to see I have this strong law. You're going to see this strong law, the strong law that is here. Then from this law, what I need to do is to see how market manipulate this law. Market manipulate and create this decision point. You see this decision point. Let me go to M5. On M5, what I see, do you see what, what was happening here? We have this strong law, market come and create this one and create the other one, then we create this zone. So this area is gonna be my zone also. I'm going to look for the entry, another entry to continue to the downside, this one here. Remember, if I take the trade here, my exit point has to be this area. So let me just do something like this. Okay, I put my entry there. And my stop loss, I can just calculate it. It's gonna be, let me just put 15 pips. I think 15 is gonna be okay for me from this one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put 15. And again, my TP has to be on the same line. This is where my TP has to be. So this is my plan for the day. And one thing that I'm gonna wait for is going to be to see when is the market start creating my uh, my Asian range for the next day. Because remember, I don't trade every time. I look for a specific entry. When I get the entry, then I know what I have to do. So let's see what is happening. Okay, here they come and respect uh, 
this uh, no they didn't get they're going to get there so i can say here they're creating like a liquidity for them to come and sell from here but uh one thing they want to do let me just check what is the nine nine is where because all this time i was not even trading i'm sleeping i cannot take the trade so okay let me just go it's okay uh and then let's see what happened from there okay the first one you know what happened it stop loss <laughs> it is what it is because here what i saw they use this law here and it makes even my zone to become more powerful why because we are the break of structure you see we are the break of structure we have uh, liquidity that has been created and it's even making my zone so strong and here remember I this one i was expecting market is gonna come and buy i give you even the reason if this one fell i'm gonna look down okay this one was liquidity because we had the break of structure here but from here i was trading the signal the way i see it and I accept the outcome of what is going to happen. And I know this thing is going to help me to build my psychology. So I have to refine what is going to be my next level where I'm going to take my what, my entry. And I'll check. Okay, this one is in. If you can check here, this one is in already. From here. And you guys know where I say my target supposed to be. Then let's see what is happening. Okay. So already when market is already gone like this, I'm sure this one is more than even 50 pips. I can also update my stop loss at my break even. I can just do something like this and hold this entry, the one I, I, I get already, all the stop loss there at my break even. But the entry I'm waiting for is gonna be this one because I wanna see this one to play out also. Cause, uh, okay, the reason of that entry is gonna be because for people that they don't know about this, this is what we call the QMTR. We have the support, um, the, uh, the, the, the supp uh, sorry, uh, yeah, support uh, left. Then we have the lower low. Then we have the support right aligned with this strong low. Let me show you on the line chart so that you can see about that strong low. Why I select, you see, this one is a strong low and there was a manipulation around it see this manipulation we break we trace then we go back this is the one we call uh, the uh, the flags you see flags a and b so for people that they know about it they know what i'm talking about then market get there so this is what i'm gonna do now for the next day i want to see where my asian range is created that is what i need to see this is what i'm gonna show you because there is a time that i saw so let's say my asian range is gonna be up until uh, Okay, this box is the box that is going to be for my Asian range. This is going to be the box for my Asian range. Then I need to see how market is going to play inside my Asian range. But what you see here, the first thing that I want to see is, okay, market did manipulate this, uh, this area here. Do you see the way they manipulate the area? They break it. So if I want to take again another buy, maybe to go to my zone, I'll wait for market. Let's see if market can come up until this area. For me to be able to do that to catch the movement but let's see what is going to happen because this one for me is going to act as liquidity and then uh, let's see we, we are already inside the asian range i'm going to fix it uh, here for people that they know how to scalp people they'll scalp they'll say okay we had the break of structure then market come back inside this candlestick to take a sell but for me it's not safe why it's not safe I don't want to have the same situation of where I might get hit again my stop loss because I have already one stop loss that has been hidden. So and then I just keep my patient and try to see how market is going to play in my zone. So this is what I'm going to wait for and check what happened. Okay. Sharp. So this is our Asian range. This is our Asian range where market manipulates our Asian range. 
remember we have this one this one already it eat the tp so if you remember i said this one has to be up until the tp so it eat the tp because this is the zone where i was monitoring my trade but what do you see here here now i'm gonna wait for half past one because half past one i see gold is playing so from one to half past one gold is playing too much from that area that is east time you can come here you select new york half past one market is playing a lot from this one so this already is my entry i have my entry market already activate my entry from this area then this entry what i'm gonna do since it's a scalp entry i need to see if market is gonna get up until this area what i need from this entry it if it's gonna give me 100 to 50 because i want to see also how frankfurt is going to play from here frankfurt remember is uh, at uh, 2 a.m so i want to see 2 a.m what the market is going to do anything can change at any time but i have the big picture on the higher time frame this is why we need direction from the higher time frame so let's see okay we break to this low you see we break to this low uh okay we break the low from here same scenario again i have this block for me to be able to catch again i sell position from here uh let's see this is uh okay let me take again this one uh, what i'm gonna do this is the item base the line of qml let me see how the zone is going to be it's gonna be maybe somewhere here this is what i'm gonna do hey it's not bad okay let's see if market is going to return there because i need to also to wait for confirmation remember that entry the first entry with the risk entry so i'm in this one also is in the first one i can even say my market is already at the break even my entry so let's see what is happening okay so this one if you check was almost close to frankfurt before frankfurt open then we had this area this is frankfurt already 2 am here 2 am already since i have this entry see this entry so before frankfurt open this is the one that give me it give me at uh, 150 to 55 to frankfurt open then i need to see again if half past two i can catch a nice movement or on half past three i can catch another movement that is half past half past two is frankfurt but half past three that is london so i want to see what is going to happen in london let's say somewhere here to see what is going to happen and uh if you guys remember i took this sell position if you go to the public group you'll see i took this sell position this was what i did from that day and then uh okay so this is what end up happening here they use the item base whatever so sometimes you're gonna select your zone then you miss it this is the item base i miss but the way i was trading i took also this buy from here then market went to the upside so when market went to the upside okay we have this candlestick what do you think let me see again another one okay since i have this rejection it's like it's telling me something about um to sell so let me see this is the item base, uh, the QML area. Let me see this one here. Is this zone going to hold for me? <laughs> okay. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do, I need to see if market is going to get on this area because I'm expecting them to run this, uh, this one, this week, the one that is there. If they're not running, then I'm going to jump. You see, market already gone. It leave me leave me and believe me guys i miss this entry the same way i just miss it now i miss it on live like this why because i was expecting market to come to the qml then market used the week of this candlestick and calls down then here they come and activate the first area that i was looking at but we have the break of structure then the zone also i'm going to monitor to see is gonna be this area this is where i'm going to monitor and try to see what is happening 
I'm sorry guys, this video is gonna be with two parts because I'm start feeling like I'm already being tired. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. So this is uh, where the gate, remember this zone, they manipulate again this area and push to the other side. Uh, get here, react, but so okay, we grab liquid. We break structure. Let's see if we're gonna get and again to the low side of this one. And this are already, you know, the crazy time that you normally know, half past eight, buy and sell, buy and sell. If you are not in front of the computer, you are not. And here there was a nice liquidity, the way they hit liquidity of people from this one. It was just play up and down, up and down, up and down. So the second part that I'm gonna do it's going to be uh, how we could be able to catch again the continuation, all those stuff. So this is the first one. And if you check, we are almost approaching the level where I wanted to do it, to take uh, the buy position on this one. Because check the way it was happening here and see what was happening end of the day. Because from these things like the way it's happening here, ah, I cannot take the trade there nothing is clear for me how can i take the trade when nothing is not clear you see even here if we check there is like a sort of qml i know this one is not it's not gonna be a proper one but what i'm gonna look for is gonna be somewhere here around to take out all this on let's say maybe here this is where i'm gonna look again for me to come and uh, try to sell again so this is uh, the area that i'm going to monitor for me to be able to catch the, the what what you call the sell position uh, to continue again the down because all this has been created as liquidity for this area because of this strong low so I'm just gonna wait uh, for the same logic to happen we break we trade up we come down we create liquidity so this zone it's a strong zone for me this is gonna be on the part two of how to take the sell and the buy. Okay, we hit our first TP. Remember, this is the Iden base on H4. This is the one on H4, like the way I did explain how we select the H4. This is the H4 Iden base. Market already touched the zone. So from the next video, I don't want to make this video to be a bit longer. Then I also need to take a break. Then from the next video, so now we are going to work about how do we take the entry from here so that we can go again with it up until the upside. So sharp guys, I hope this video is gonna make you sense. And uh, this one, it's a bit a quick video, but let's see what is gonna happen.